<laughs> Good morning. I haven't vlogged in such a long time and when I was in Canada, I said to you guys, hey, I'm going back to California soon. I'll be able to vlog every day. And I got back to California and I've just been so busy. It's been so crazy um, in the best way. Like I got to interview celebrities on the, red, or on the red carpet of the VMAs for Ellen. And yesterday the Hollywood medium came over to my house and did a reading on me. It was insane, like crazy. I can't wait till the episode comes out because then I can tell you guys stuff about it. Like. It was insane. It was so crazy. I can't wait to tell you guys about it. And then I'm like working on gearing up to like make some announcements. So like there's just been so much going on. I haven't had time to film anything, but I'm going to try my hardest to vlog today. And I talked a little bit about this on my live stream, but I wanted to talk about it in my vlog because I live streamed the other day. Um, so my documentary that I filmed a long time ago hasn't come out and it probably won't. It, maybe it will eventually, but it just doesn't look like it will, which is a bummer because we spent a lot of time, money, hard work into it. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe it'll come out eventually. But so much has changed since we filmed that documentary. So now I kind of want to film a new one. Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about it. I mentioned it in the live stream yesterday and I was like, oh, that'd be really cool to film a new one because I'm going on tour. I've got this new project I'm working on that we could talk about in the, in the documentary. And then season two is coming out and like all this stuff is happening that like, I want to document. I thought about doing a new documentary, so it's a matter of like finding someone to do it, and if I have time, and I don't know. So I'm looking into doing that, which could be exciting. And then I'm going to Europe in a couple of weeks, which is crazy, and I'm trying to get the cast of haters back off to go. I've got a couple of nibbles, like a couple of people are like, I wanna go. So I'm just trying to confirm that, if anyone can come. There's just a lot of exciting things happening. So anyway, that's what I'm up to. And I got a bug bite on my leg and it's really itchy. Okay, time to film Miranda. Goodbye. Just finished filming Miranda videos, which is why I'm still wearing my Miranda. Oh my gosh, it's so overexposed. Um, I'm still wearing my Miranda sweatshirt right now. I got something really exciting in the mail. So I'm going on tour to Europe in a couple weeks and uh, we have a couple new merch items if you're coming to those shows. Now, eventually, hopefully, if these sell well, I'll put them on my online store and anyone can get them, but right now, they Basically what we're doing is if you're coming to the UK shows, you, there's a website, I'll put it in the description, that you can go to and you can buy your merch that you want now so that when you go to my show, you don't have to wait in a long line because the line's usually super long for the merch. You can just go straight up to the merch table and be like, hey, I paid for these things, can I have them now? And so one of the new items is this sweatshirt because all I ever wear, as you guys know, is crop top like sweatshirts and t-shirts now. So I had this sweatshirt and made it says spread happiness and that's my handwriting i wrote it out and scanned it and sent it over and then i just got lipstick on it <laughs> and then i drew this little sunflower um because i always say you guys are my sunflowers you make me happy i drew this little sunflower for the dot on the eye and it's super the worst drawing ever but i never said i was an artist boo but this is a sweatshirt and uh it's really cute so you can order it uh just if you're coming to the uk shows there's also a new miranda shirt there's a new miranda pop socket so if you guys want to go order that stuff on the website then when you get to my show you can just go up to the merch table and be like give me my goods one of the reasons i love this is because this is something i would totally wear at night like lounging around so i have one that's like a medium size that i'll wear around the house just like in my panties because girl that's what i do and then i want to cut one into a crop top right now because i always wear crop tops so i'm going to show you guys how i do that this is small um and I pull it down and then I like try to find where I want to cut it and I usually go longer than I want for the first cut because otherwise if you cut it too short there's nothing you can do about it but if it's too long you can always just keep going up and up until you find a good spot so what I do is I get some scissors to cut a little like a snip like in the area that I want to cut the crop top so I just cut a little tiny little tiny snippet and then I take it off and cut it all the way across and then put it back on and see how it looks and I usually roll the sleeves up like that when I'm wearing the crappie but let's see how it looks I'm nervous <laughs> So this is what it looks like. Um, I think I'll probably, normally I'd want it a little bit shorter than this, but I might wash it and it'll shrink. So, and sometimes when you cut things just straight, they like roll. So I'm just gonna leave it be. But this is what it looks like, my little crappie toppy. Huh? I feel like I wanna make it in t-shirts too, so I can make like 
for the happiness crop top t-shirts. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Go order it if you're gonna be in the UK. If you guys really like it, maybe I'll upload this design to my Spreadshirt store as well. Um, let me know what you guys think. Okay, I just took a dip in the pool because it is 106 degrees where I live. So I, so many things happened today. I had a bunch of meetings and one of which I found out that this there's an announcement I thought I could make next week. I can't make it next week. <laughs> so it'll be coming later. And the other thing is that um, the thing I did for Ellen for, I interviewed celebrities on the red carpet at the VMAs for Ellen. That will not be airing on the Ellen show, but they did upload it to YouTube. So you guys can watch that if you want to and that's kind of been my day and a bunch of other meetings i need to do some editing i might go to michael's craft store because it is my favorite place in the universe um, exciting riveting day guys riveting okay so i've been trying to learn the taylor swift song the new one uh it's not a ukulele song so i've been like playing around with the chords and stuff and trying to make it like into a ukulele song so this is just what i'm working on i don't like your little games I don't like your tilted stage The role you made me play For the fool, no I don't like you I don't like your perfect crime How you laugh when you lie You said the gun was mine It's cool, no I don't like you But I got smarter, I got hotter than the What we have, oh, and I'm trying to cut things open with one arm. Are you excited to see what Rose sent us? Here we go, Gus. Are you excited to see what's inside the box? Cute oh little God. poop brownie molds. This is awesome. I actually saw this on her um, on her YouTube channel. I thought it was so cute. Oh my gosh, you want me a little note? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff Ooh, in here. Great. A little heart, like game cookie cutter. Oh my gosh, measuring cups. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff in here. Sprinkles! Oh my gosh, we have to bake tonight. A candy melting pot. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. There's so much stuff in here. Thanks, Ro. Oh my gosh, I think you guys can get this stuff at like Target, maybe Michael's. Oh, but that is so exciting. I'm so proud of her. She's on tour right now, actually, um, promoting all her new baking lines. So you guys can go check that out. I'm so proud of her. I'm so excited for her. I can't wait to use all this stuff. He loves all his new treats. Guys, I went to Michael's and they had the most incredible things there that I had to get for Gus. A muscle man outfit, a little mermaid outfit, and we decided to eat hot dogs for dinner, so we got him a hot dog outfit. So we're about to put these on that little boy. Here we have a muscle man. Gus the bird. I don't think he likes this one very much, and I couldn't get it on one of his paws. <laughs> I'll take it off, Gus, I'm sorry. A beautiful mermaid. Oh, he just ate his own hair. Do you like it, Gus? Are you furious at me? Take it off. You didn't like the weave, but I don't think he minds the outfit. It's a cute little mermaid number. And here we have a hot dog. Do you like it, Gus? It's a little crooked. What do you think, Gus? Wagging his tail, which think I think means he's furious with me. Okay, <laughs> 
So another thing I got at Michael's was a tiny little pie tin thing. So I'm gonna make individual little pies in here. They're really tiny. You can see like the difference between my hand and the pies. And I'm gonna make different kinds. So I'm gonna make a berry pie, an apple pie, and a chocolate pie. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. So right now I'm making a crumble top for the berry one. See? All right, so I made up a chocolate chip pecan recipe. And I'm gonna put apples and berries in these. So we'll see, we've got some apple pies, some berry pies, and some chocolate pecan pies. And I just need to put some tops on these. because they're so tiny, so it's like mostly just crust and like one little spoonful of food inside. So they're cute, but wouldn't recommend. I'll see you guys tomorrow.